Do your job. This video is brought to you by GoDaddy. Enter code HUB749 for domain name discount, HUB20 for 20% off hosting plans, and code HUBFILE for discount off of online file folder plans. Let the bodies hit the floor. 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 What's up, guys? Uh, yeah, it seemed like an eventful fight. Uh, I, I think uh, I got to learn to start a little faster. Uh, it seems like my last couple of fights, I gotta get hit in order to get into my groove, and uh, you know, it's something like I want to start cutting out, man. I, gotta, I, I felt like I don't know, maybe I, I didn't realize I was in a fight until I took that right hand, or was it even a hook? I don't even know what I got hit with in the first round, but it, it busts me a little bit. And uh, you know, after that, I, I realized, all right, let me stay smart and, and get this thing together, and uh, that's what I did the rest of the fight, as you guys saw. Um, yeah, like uh, like Schaefer, Mr. Schaefer said, uh, I'm I'm ready for uh, a big fight. Uh, you know, I'm so glad and so appreciative that uh, Golden Boy not only brought me back the way they did, um, they did it on TV, they, they did it uh, so the, the world could see my fights, so that the the memory of the Khan fight wouldn't be the last time people would have seen me, and I'm, I'd be winning off TV. You know, so I, I can't express my gratitude in words that um, you know Golden Boy Promotions and the way they they brought me back along and uh, you know in a way where everyone can see my performances and judge for themselves uh, where I'm at uh, in, in my career and if I've still got it. I, I feel like I still got a lot to give and uh, I feel like I'm ready, uh, like Mr. Schaefer said, like for anybody at 147 pounds in the world, you know. Um, I was talking to my team as well and if the opportunity for a big enough fight presents itself even back at 140, I think uh, with the heat training in California, I may be able to get back to 140. So I, I want to keep my options open. Uh, I know we, uh, we were talking about a welterweight tournament. I'd love to be in, involved in something like that. Um, I know Devin Alexander has been mentioned. Um, a few other fights have been mentioned for me at welterweight. Uh, everything interests me. I, I, I love big fights. I love being part of big events. And um, you know, you guys know me, man. I'm a ham for the for the for the tension. <laughs> but um, but uh, you know, even if it's something that comes up at 140, I would uh, I will keep my eyes open for that as well. And uh, we'll see. On to the next. Thanks, guys. Bueno, no tengo palabras. Primero que nada, muchas gracias a todos los aquí presentes. Well, hi to everybody. First of all, I have no words for everybody here in attendance. Y honestamente les digo que esta noche es la segunda noche más linda de toda mi vida después del nacimiento de mi hija. And honestly, I have to tell you, this is the second day, the second, uh, second day happiest of my life after just after the born of my daughter Camila. Y la verdad, esto es como los cuentos de hadas de dormir en la calle a ahora ser campeón del mundo. <laughs> this is like a fairy tale story after eating uh, the garbage. Now I'm a world champion. Es, es, Esta noche se cumplió mi sueño. This night, my dream, my dream come true. De corazón les digo, nunca dejen de luchar por sus sueños y de corazón les deseo a cada uno de ustedes que se les cumpla el sueño más deseado de toda su vida. Este fue el mío. From the bottom of my heart, I'm, uh, I'm begging you, never stop uh, fighting for your dreams. Tonight, uh, my dream come true. Muchas gracias. A todos, que Dios los bendiga. Gracias. Thanks to everybody and God bless. I just want to introduce just a couple. You're a pussy, Hopkins. You hear me? You're a pussy. You ain't a gangster. Because Hopkins kept saying he was a gangster. You ain't a gangster, Hopkins. Because you know why? A gangster would get up and fight. You ain't a gangster. Chad, Chad, Chad is really a great kid and, and soft-spoken, whatever. And I knew he'd never come up and say that or talk that way. So I wanted you to know exactly what happened. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce Bad Chad Dawson.
First off, I want to I want to thank my family who came out to support me, all my fans from New Haven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you, even if you're not from New Haven, if you came out to support me, I want to thank you for coming out. Uh, I want to thank the WBC for sending in the fight, and uh, I want to thank Bernard for making an easy night for me. Uh, I mean, I put in a, we put in me and Scully, Winky, my brother, my man G man. We put in a lot of work for this fight, man. I, I, I did my eight weeks. I trained my butt off for this fight because this is a fight I've been wanting for the last three years. And this goes to show you why the last three years, but not how has been ducking me. He didn't want a piece of me. I lost to Pascal, which was kind of controversial with a headbutt. Pascal was out on his feet. He know that. Yeah, you say it all you want, but you know you was about to be done. You know that. You know that. You know that. And I'm going to finish you off. I'm going to finish you off in the rematch, brother. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I'm, I'm sorry for the um. That was your last for, knockout. Hey, you lost twice. You lost to a 46 year old man, brother, twice, twice. You lost to a 46 year old man twice, 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 twice. You was out on your feet, brother. You was out on your feet. You got lucky. Sit down, man. Sit down. You got lucky. Sit down with your tight pants. Sit down. You got lucky. Sit down. 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 Sit down with your tight jeans. Come on, man. Exactly. This time, this time we gonna do it in the U.S. Do it over here, see what happens. See what happens. Anyway, I train, I train eight hard weeks for this fight. I'm, I'm just happy to, I'm, I'm happy I got my title back. I'm back on top. Back on top. And I want to thank you all for being here. Like I said, came here. I came. I came here to fight tonight. I don't know what Bernard thought he was gonna do, but I knew. I knew in the way in yesterday, Bernard did not want to fight. He said he was a gangster. I'm not a gangster. Ain't no gangsters in Hartford, Connecticut. I'm from New Haven. You know? So he need to do a little bit of research. New Haven, baby. TJ, I see you over there. We from New Haven. All, all, all my New Haven people that came out to support me. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm ready to get back to work. Let's go. Baby. You already know. Let's go. First of all, uh, I want to thank uh, Chad and uh, Gary Shaw for letting me come in uh, Chad uh, camp and uh, enjoy watching the champ train hard, get himself ready. He was prepared. Everybody, you know. You want to cry about he he leaned over and shoved Bernard off of him. Bernard is one of the dirtiest fighters in boxing. Bernard will hit you low. Bernard will headbutt you. He would do what it takes to win. But this man did not push Bernard down. He didn't lift Bernard up and slam Bernard down. He simply pumped him off. If anybody watch boxing, that's normal in boxing. Bernard quit point blank. He quit, and that's what he didn't want to fight Chad Dawson. So I just want to give the champ all the props, man. I came to camp just to have fun with him and, you know, give him a little insight. And, you know, with Scully, he had Scully, he had his whole team. And the champ did what he had to do to win. And uh, I'm glad I was there to witness. Thank you.